The night of September 12, 2017 may yet prove a defining moment in Jose Mourinho's time at Manchester United. Chris Smalling, Antonio Valencia, Juan Mata and Marwan Fellaini may have all previously taken a turn as skipper, but this felt different. As Paul Pogba belatedly took up his place at the front of the queue in the tunnel, with that luminous armband in tow, a strong statement was sent out before a ball was even kicked against Basel. The France superstar was officially Manchester United's main man as he gleefully nodded along to the Champions League anthem under the lights at Old Trafford. Ander Herrera, in contrast, did not even make the squad and it has been Marwan Fellaini who has benefited from Pogba's hamstring injury. Last season's Club Player of the Year has had to make the with a bit part role following United's impressive start and has made just four starts so far this season. Herrera has retained his influence despite a lack of starts rather than sulk, or ponder his future. Herrera has kept his head down and maintained his influence in the dressing room just as he did a year ago. And it is those qualities that have really stood out so far. Before the win against CSKA Moscow, when United boldly reverted to a 343 formation, Herrera made a point of clapping some energy into his side in the Moscow chill. The Spaniard even pulled Eric Bailly, the club's best defender, to a side and gesticulated to him to keep the defensive line compact as he took up a new role as the right-sided centre-back. Bailly, it must be remembered, initially made his name as a right-back and has repeatedly covered Antonio Valencia when he romps forward. But Herrera did not shirk giving him some advice. Three days later, ahead of coming on against Crystal Palace, Herrera was reminding his side who to mark from the touchline as he had done previously against Leicester. Herrera was a huge player for Mourinho towards the end of last season without even setting foot onto the field. Herrera is making his presence felt and he remains one of Mourinho's most valued lieutenants even when he goes against him. The 28-year-old played a key role in Europa League final win against Ajax and made the independent decision to swap defensive positions with Henrik Mkhitaryan during one second-half corner. Mourinho was initially dumbfounded, but then realized that Mkhitaryan was already on a yellow card and Herrera feared he may have been isolated if Ajax broke it pace. Moments like that are why Mourinho rates Herrera as one of the most intelligent players he has ever worked with. Not only can the Spaniard carry out his tactical instructions to a tee, Eden Hazard can tell you that but he has the presence of mind to make the right decision in the heat of the moment. Is it any wonder, then, that Herrera has been backed as a future United captain Manchester United great Roy Keane made Ireland strike a nervous but the 28-year-old felt he had not won enough to justify being handed the role after Wayne Rooney left the club last summer. And, whatever you say about United's record goalscorer, he was a highly respected figure in the dressing room particularly for young players. Rooney's departure, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic's ongoing rehabilitation, has allowed a number of United's younger players to step up and find their voice despite Michael Carrick being his successor as skipper. Romelu Lukaku, for example, has made an instant impact in that regard regularly berating Daily Blint for his service and boldly taking up penalty duties against Leicester. Mourinho has made a point of not appointing a vice-captain so a number of his senior players could again take a turn at leading the team out. But a tough decision awaits when Carrick eventually retires Pogba or Herrera get all the latest Manchester United news first with our new app. Download it here, now.